I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. And did you vote in the primary election on Tuesday, or did you wait in the line longer than Tom Hanks was on that damn island? It seems that the problem in Georgia was that the campaign manager of the shady-ass Trump-licking Governor Brian Kemp, who was in charge of the election and voting system during his election in 2016, oh, an election he won, yeah, what are the odds that the guy in charge of the voting machines and the way votes were counted won that election? What are the odds? One. Those are the odds. One. He wins. Those are the odds. So the guy who runs the election, who won the other election and became governor by winning the election, he also ran, also ran Tuesday's election? Okay, Brian Kemp's campaign guy is now a lobbyist for a company that makes voting machines. And the weird part for me is that during America's Got Talent, the votes are dealt with by a separate accounting firm and no one, not even Simon, has access to the damn voting machines. So politicians are running their own elections now? This just in, we are also letting tigers babysit gazelles. Our country is based on one man or woman, you overwoke meatheads. One man, one vote. And honestly, shady criminal politicians stealing votes and suppressing votes isn't new. I mean, going back to 1863, politicians have passed ID laws, poll taxes, education-based requirements, and of course, there was the 1912 Alabama backflip law where before you could vote, you had to do a standing backflip in front of a poll worker. We remember, remember that day as the grandma face plant massacre of 1912. On Tuesday in Georgia, lines to simply vote were up to five hours long. Oh, but not in the white neighborhoods, just the majority minority neighborhoods. Do you know why? Because racist scared white people are really afraid of a majority minority. And well, Whitey, it's gonna happen. And when it does, they are going to remember your dumb cracker ass and how you tried to take their votes. Now, we could go over the ways that politicians have stolen votes, literacy tests. Is that what that says? Liter literacy tests? <laughs> I got it? Yes! Literacy tests. Putting polling places miles from city center so poor people without rights can't get there to vote. Purging voter rolls because your name is kinda like a convicted felon. I mean, I had to re-register here in California because of a serial killer named Christopher Pitus. Our Constitution says one man, one vote. Unless the man in charge of the vote says you can't vote. And why? Why do these scumbag politicians need to steal votes? Well, let's be honest. It's because their policies are lame, stupid, and will hurt the poorest people. I'm Brian Kemp. You've heard about all my guns, my chainsaw, and my truck. It's why rich people donate to these politicians. So these billion dollar companies can keep polluting the air and water, cut restrictions on testing drugs and food, write laws that free them from liability when their products kill us. And then they're going to make it legal to kick puppies. Yeah, that's what stealing votes does. It gets innocent puppies kicked. You know, when the Supreme Court, led by Justice Roberts, and I'm saying his name, so when, when we are all lost in an apocalyptic wasteland trying to survive because these racist, craven a-holes addicted to power don't have good enough ideas to win an election, and now we're eating lizards to survive in an endless desert... Chief Justice John Roberts said on the day he gutted the Voting Rights Act, I'm doing this because our country has changed. And that blanket federal protection wasn't needed to stop discrimination anymore. <laughs> Basically, he made it legal to stop people voting because he said racism was over. <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg was so pissed she did 400 burpees just to kill her. Bader rage! Racism is over? <laughs> <laughs> Racism is over. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> racism is over. God, I wish I could ask George Floyd, Tamir Rice, and Philando Castile if racism was over. Look, no matter what it takes, vote. It's your right. And that they are trying to take it is just proof of how priceless that vote is. I'm Christopher Titus. And this is the Armageddon Update. <sighs> I like the little stickers, too. I think I voted. Everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. How are you this very weird, weird time in America? With me as always, the lovely bombshell Ray. What's up, people? And the Highlander. There can be only one. There can only be one. So, uh, the rioting has uh, kind of stopped, right? 
Yeah. You're still getting ready. How is it? You I'm just, not getting you're ready. You're still I'm touching lipstick up. and stuff. Shh. You just got and you like and you had I all this time. Shit here. And I got <laughs> she had to get through all the riots. <laughs> um, so tell uh, everybody what you just said. Uh, I was just we were arguing over, and I just said I, I run shit here, and she she goes, yeah, see how that works out for you. No, I said good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah. I actually meant for you to tell them what you said about allergies because he's super manly and he doesn't get allergies. I don't have allergies. I although don't. he what? I have I I well I give him, I have sympathy allergies for people that right. are weaker than me. Seasonally. <laughs> Seasonally, yeah. The seasonal. Right. It just I feel bad. I'm like hell. I'm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're all the same. Nothing to do with pollen. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> oh, shut up. It's mass unrest. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So uh, rioting. it seems that this country is on a daily basis, and it's not just, it's almost like when you read about the, the plagues in the Bible, mm -hmm. it just seems like everything is happening over and over. We had, uh, so we had a pandemic, we had, a, we had based the Black Plague shows up mm -hmm. to kill us. Uh, then we have riots in the streets. Uh, everybody's uh, out of work. Uh, and now uh, the, our voting rights are being stolen. Uh, I'm waiting uh, with locusts. Uh, what else? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, well, we had the uh, killer, whatchamacallit, that came here. But have Killer you hornets, heard? murder hornets. Murder hornets. Have you heard about the locusts? No. There's real locusts? <laughs> yeah, legit. Legit locusts. <laughs> Yo. Uh, yeah, the, the, legit the, locusts. Their hats are on backwards <laughs> and shit. Um, <laughs> got, got blinged up. This yeah. has become a big it's a thing. It's now a thing. Um, swarms of locusts have been spreading ac across Pakistan. Um, they're actually a bigger threat right now to their economy than the viruses. Wow. They are um, blocking out the sun in some places. <laughs> they are eating crops, causing famine. Biblical, biblical, biblical. Mm -hmm. Checkity, mm -hmm. check, check. Have you read mm -hmm. Revelations? I think I'm going to peruse it tonight. I think I might I might skim it again tonight. <laughs> is this when Jesus comes back? Maybe this is this God is... just going check, checkity, check, uh -huh. checkity, check. Almost check. there. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. The locust invasion now covers an area of 57 million hectares in a country with a total crop area of 23 million hectares. So it's a big it's a big always, problemo oh man you know uh whatever you believe whether it's uh whatever you believe whether it's uh god getting in with us or just that the planet is a living thing that eventually just goes these i have cancer and it's called right. humanity i like that those yeah. are your two choices god getting even with us i don't know that every what well, so it's or <laughs> plan, yeah. Or can we have more choices? God, cycles, God like created Earth. a living planet that actually now. Can is, we have is, C, <laughs> D, <laughs> none of the above? <laughs> I just think that it feels like the planet is finally getting pissed, and all oh, we've over farming, and it's like, okay, now I'm going to give you disease that's going to take out a lot of you because I got to fix it. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to survive. You know, everything, every living thing goes into survival mode, right? Did you see the speaking of the economy? I mean, the the planet. Um, also, so you know, the planet got a little bit better while we were all locked at home. Yeah, right, clean right, right. it. Yeah, and we LA don't have crazy. that gray thing hanging over right. downtown. It's coming back. Uh, it is, but also, so is murder. Have you seen the murder rates in Los Angeles? Yeah. They, they, so here's the thing. I, I don't. I, I started getting a little pissed about what you're talking about statistics because now what they're doing on the news, MSNBC is doing it, Fox does it, CNN does it. Uh, and I'm not one to believe uh, like everybody's full of shit, but it seems like everybody's kind of full of shit to some mm. degree. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think there's percentages of full of shit. Like I would give like CNN yeah. and maybe a 20% full of yeah. shit. Or they're Fox omitting would something. Fox have an 85% yeah. full of shit. Mm -hmm. but, but even MSNBC has got a 30% full of shit. Here's what happened. We were looking at the, they were doing coronavirus upticks and uh, Rachel Maddow put on four graphs and it was, they all went crazy straight up. And I was like, oh my God, how many people? Well, one of the graphs was based on on the side, it said uh, a thousand uh, people getting it, yeah. and I thought, okay, that that thing goes up. The yeah. other one said like two hundred are getting it. So like, it, oh, and it's, but it's, it's the still, same. It's the same trajectory. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But it was because the graph. If you you can adjust the x and y axis to make sure. the graph say anything, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Well, no, it's just because assholes are let out of their homes again. So I find it hard that's that murderers. All. It's were. what I said. It's oh no, yeah, but that's okay. So back to what you were saying. Yeah. I, uh, so now they say that the murder rate in California has gone up by twenty five percent in a week. Well, because we're not home watching Netflix now. Everybody got out, and the, and the murderers got back to murdering, and the delivery mm -hmm. guys are delivering again. Yeah. 
they got back to work. Right. We got the murder they got, right. They, even the murder. They got a job like, to do. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly. I am hired. Headmen <laughs> were sitting at home yeah. waiting. Well, how many, I mean, you look, with your, with, you know, with, with uh, uh, Fort uh, uh, Adventure, uh, Adventure. Project. Adventure. Project Adventure. Yeah. Adventure. Project, with Project Adventure, I mean, hey, you got to get back to Cassassi. Whenever you speak about Project Adventure, <laughs> say the name correctly, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> See? See? So she some... killed, she's killed three people since the pandemic, <laughs> since they reopened. Yeah. I mean, uh, allegedly. All by Project Adventure. I, I used too much. Ironically, <laughs> all three people I killed, I killed because they were destroying the environment. Ah, that's revenge. what I like about Project Trade Adventure. <laughs> that's what I, so you basically just st- you saved the environment is what you did. Pretty much. Uh, so so basically, you being an assassin is more of a conservation program. Thank you. Uh, th- yeah. Okay. <laughs> I get it. All right. So it, <laughs> Earth is the adventure land. So okay. Project Adventure Protect was it. was like the really the progressive arm of Treadstone. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of Treadstone, how's your dating life going? Yeah. Oh, it, like that's a secret. Well, because we. Uh, don't look away. We are there under a- stay-at-home orders, yep. but people are starting to get more relaxed about mm-hmm, that, and they're mm-hmm. going places and mm-hmm. going out. Even though the cases yeah. are going up, but yeah. Yep, yep. yep. It's going great. Okay. Um, we're taking it slow. Okay. So since we're we, loud, we, we're, 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 yeah. We, oh, there's a, oh, we, there's uh, a pronoun. The, uh, we, we met in Las Vegas. Uh, we went to a little chapel. It's over? You know. No, don't get and, sucked uh, in. Oh, oh, wow. He, he's, uh, I thought, did you take off for vacation? She's pregnant with triplets. Wow. And, and, and she's just, you know, we're taking it easy. She's gay. And, she's, and we're back. And, and, and you turned her because she wasn't cycle. gay. Uh, <laughs> and locusts. And, uh, so you guys just, you guys are just talking back and forth? Yeah. We're there's, just talking. A, there's a double little, there's a week. Did you send her interview music? There's one. Yes. Uh, yeah, he yeah, said yeah. her music. Well, she, oh. she asked for it. She asked for it. We have to. Yeah. No, we men, we have to Have you, you yet played music on the phone? Look what her? I can do. <laughs> no, I haven't <laughs> played any romantic music. Yeah. I wrote you a little song while I was gone. <laughs> and then his music. Ran it. I can't rap. <laughs> so Not I bad. just do vowel That's noises. <laughs> <laughs> M C A E I O U. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally go to see that. Except guy. people would be like, "Did you see MC Good, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome. That's the new mumble rap, yeah, no, right no, there. A E I O U. you. So, not you're not you're still under stay at home orders. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're, I mean, we're, we're, we're but his penis we're is banging on the door. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and the lockdown. <laughs> and the lockdown. Already drove. It's been twelve Came years. <laughs> and the lockdown. Stop banging on my pants. <laughs> and the lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm protesting with my penis. What's that noise under the table? And the lockdown. <laughs> my sorority sister Carla, that you know, uh, she was listening to the podcast at work, watching it, and, and I said, "Oh, you know, you have headphones, right? Because she's right in the thick of hardcore cracker right wing, yeah." Ah. And uh, she's in the cracker barrel. <laughs> she's in the barrel. Two, there's two cracker crackers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, she was like, no, 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 I just wait until there's not a lot of people here. And then about 10 minutes later, I get a text. Oh, I totally get the headphone comment now because you guys are all talking about penises. And oh, I was like, right. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much happens once a week. Once a week. We have a, it's a union uh, required thing. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty crazy. You see all the police unions that, that came out after the, all the rioting, and they're like, one guy got a mirror. Let me tell you something. We don't get respect. You know, we don't get respect. With these guys behind me bust their ass every day, we don't get respect. And aren't the police always saying, you got to earn respect? Aren't they right. always like saying, people, right. hey, hey, you know, you, you got to earn respect on the street. And they're, but not. I, I think this, um, the police unions are like, nah. And, <laughs> and then someone took this video of this cop doing this lecture. Uh, about how people don't respect the police force and someone took the video and cut in uh, 35 videos of cops beating the shit out of people <laughs> and it really made it better. Well, that's all that, you know. <laughs> You're poking over here inside of my space. I didn't say box. I'm not touching you. You keep I doing that. Touch- you touch- keep, I am not touching you. You stay in your touch- own <laughs> little square of personal space. It's not gonna happen. Big trouble. Big trouble. Mister. Yes, I would stay in my area. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about personal space, Dennis? Uh, personal space uh, depends uh, how big your personality is. I currently, as Doctor Sexy, have a huge personality, so my personal space is a large bubble that surrounds me. 
about 20 by 20 feet. What if someone walks into that? Person in space? Well, they're going to have to deal with Dr. Ketchy. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I am a walking pheromone. <laughs> this is a great explanation for future sexual assaults. <laughs> <laughs> she walked into my bubble of sensuality, and she was dealt with handily. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Uh, He's something Dennis had never said ever. No. Uh, so, so I looked up. Voting rights. Voting fraud claims. Right. Um, you can go to factcheck.org. So, because um, by the way, guys, everybody, Trump is saying that um, we can't mail in ballots anymore. We all have to go to the polling places because it's a lot easier to control. You can control the polling place. You can actually have the machines break. Mm-hmm. They don't work. Mm-hmm. You can actually have poll workers that don't know what the fuck they're doing, which happened in Georgia. But yes. So, so you can actually control the flow and you can discourage people. You, you, Where will you wait in line for four hours? You won't. Right. So, People leave. It's a tactic. The yeah. funny thing is that they did it mostly in uh, the black and Hispanic neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. I mean, like mm-hmm. it, it's pretty obvious we are in the most corrupt time in my life. Here's the thing that, say I, to that? Mm-hmm. that I yeah. don't understand yeah. I mean, is if crazy. he's alleging voter fraud, right. couldn't both sides commit voter fraud? Why would it only be Democrats? Right. That's right. So it doesn't really. Well, they, make they committed sense voter fraud on its face. In, in Georgia. They flat out committed voter fraud. Yes, they did, and it's sort of like you know how you always said that you're ex accused you of cheating all the time, and yeah. it's because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the me thinks he doth protest too much. Right. So all of the sudden, this is the first administration where we've really heard about voter fraud, and it's been so relentless. And so that's what I always think. It's like whatever he says, he's pointing at what he's right, doing. Right. Right. Telegraphing. right. Yeah. Basically, uh, well, you know, uh, always uh, was it Goebbels said that, and Hitler's always uh, accuse your enemy of what you are doing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And so. We so what's happening, and if you look at it, uh, I did look it up today, I went and I read, and there's no cases of voter fraud, like it's point oh 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 one percent. It's like literally three of them. The people they caught in the last four years have all been Republican voters, conservative voters. They caught four people, something like that. That's the other thing, too, is if you look at the way that things are going now, who do you think would be more likely to cheat? Oh, maybe the guy that his own Republican-backed intel committee proved cheated on the election. Right, yeah. like, with Russia's yeah. help. Yeah, Tr- traitor, basically. The thing yeah. about Treasonous. Democrats, yeah. I find, is that they're entirely too on the up and up a lot of times and too touchy-feely and too sensitive woke. and too woke. And yep. So they're not going to cheat in retaliation. I mean, I just, I see a lot of... <laughs> I like that her solution is, nah, we got a crime too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, we got to crime this shit up here. Why these assholes are doing it? Let's we crime. Play dirty we got a crime. Yeah, yeah. Play your opponent's game. Yeah. <laughs> True. That's why That's fire with fire. Project yeah. Adventure. Uh, the <laughs> problem with that is, and then it, and it's weird, it's such a weird fight because I think overall, and I think we saw with, uh, uh, by the way, we want to talk about the protests too, but I think we saw with the protests that eventually people just want to do the right thing. I think deep down, yeah. we want to do the right thing. Uh, I, I'm finding a lot of people, Mitch McConnell's uh, uh, ilk, uh, you know, Brian Kemp, a lot of the Republicans Palpatine. don't seem to, but I have to say, Palpatine, yeah, mm-hmm. Palpatine. Um, I, I would say um, there was four uh, people in Kerry's, John Kerry's uh, um, camp eight years ago when he was running against, was it, who's he running? Oh, no, W, Bush, when he's running against W. Mm-hmm. Uh, four people got uh, busted for slashing tires on the Democrat side. But that's what, three elections ago? And they can't, there's nothing since. I He had a voting fraud commission right. under this administration. To yeah, investigate voter fraud. No, to investigate the three million votes that he said Latinos did yeah, in California. Yeah, non-citizens. Yeah, that non. He said three million more people voted fake votes, uh-huh. uh, voted against him, and then his commission uh, got disbanded mm-hmm. after they found out there was absolutely no voter fraud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, fuck you guys. You guys don't know shit. You're out. I'm it's just, it's just it. another claim. It's just another. It's a red herring. Yeah, and um, I, you know, the problem is it works. So you know, grandma, mm-hmm. um, um, aunt, uncle, there it works. 
people go, so much voter fraud, that's why we got to do it. Right. Well, but Trump voted by mail. Kaylee, what's her face? Kaylee McEnany, whatever the hell her name is. Voted by mail 11 out of the last 10 years. Using a false address. She used an address where She's she doesn't live. She's a resident live. of D.C. Right. She has mm-hmm. a New Jersey Bar. driver's license, and she voted in Florida where her parents live. But she's saying... By mail. By mail. And she's saying no one should vote by The president himself... Votes uh, by mail. Uh, he actually illegally voted because he wrote down his address as Florida... And he his but his he business claims, address the White House, so he only he could have claims voted. to be a resident of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, but he voted in the Florida election. Right. So I don't know if that I don't know if that uh, William Barr they voted. Asked, there's by actually mail. a clip you can go uh, see. Steve Mnuchin voted by mail. Where they asked him, but didn't you vote by? Why did you vote by mail then? And he goes, because I can. That was his response. Rules don't to apply to me. Rules don't apply to me. Um. The fences are still up at Fort Chicken Shit, too, man. They've surrounded the White House with those fences. Still up. I heard they were coming down, but they said, I think it's Wednesday they're coming down. People Maybe did today. really beautiful um, tributes mm-hmm. on the fence mm-hmm. that he erected of yeah. Black Lives <laughs> Lost. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cool. They basically do invented a, um, they basically I- invented like a, 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 almost like a monument wall. Like the Vietnam Memorial right. on the fence, it right. was all the uh, Tamir Rice, Flando yeah. Castile, all these people, and so it it everything a dude does backfires. Everything he does, it goes. So today when they were talking about the the Georgia thing, well, what's going to happen now is the pendulum's going to swing back eventually. We're going to make these hardcore voter laws. They're going to cut out lobbyists, what they need to do, and then it'll work again. But there, did you find any voter fraud? They say that it exists in extremely isolated cases. So Trump is commonly quoting an old Dominion professor. That's the same guy, study, same guy yes. over and over again. Um, but even that guy says that vote is the quote is voter fraud is very, very uncommon. So he just leaves out the conclusions. So they found, like, for example, one of the things they had to go back to was 1982 in Chicago, 62 precinct captains were indicted by a grand jury for stuffing ballot boxes and buying votes. Of course, in Chicago, A. Chicago, that in Chicago. Chicago's usually so on the up and up. There's been no history of crime no, and corruption in no Chicago. No, right? no, no, no. I mean, no, no, no. Mobsters don't. Not in Chicago. They don't have any history. Right. Yeah, yeah. Chicago. If you go and look, like even the dead people, Trump is quoted as saying that people that died 10 years ago are still voting. And that's not actually what the report says that he cites. Right. But he just keeps saying it. Um, uh, I talked to someone today who I love dearly, and sh- uh, she said that the uh, she said that all the protests were organized. Everything was organized. And I was like... <laughs> Yeah, no, you can't organize millions of people in thousand and in, in hundred cities. You can't. It, that doesn't happen. Is Just, that someone related to me? Yeah. Well, and someone related to me. She who said I love that. Dearly. She said that. She goes. These are not organized. It's not organized. Organized by who? Like, like that's is this why, the George well, Soros. Uh, yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. She doesn't watch Fox, so I wonder. Well, the problem is that that where I, I look, I, fact me or fuck off. That's my whole thing about it. It's like, I, like fact me. If anybody says that these protests were quote organized, please show me the Craigslist posting, show me the flyer, show me the emails that went out, the mass email that went out to everybody, because it didn't happen. No one can seem to accept that maybe, maybe we just saw a guy get his neck stood on for eight minutes and decided, that's the extent of the organization. Yeah, yeah, that it's was like, yeah, that's yeah, the whole organization. Rage. Yeah, Chauvin organized okay. it. Yeah, 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 Derek Chauvin organized the yes. protest by stepping on his neck exactly. for eight minutes. There please you go. Please Brutality organized the protest. There you go. <laughs> well, I can no. always So you proved her point. Good job. <laughs> Based on what some family members say to me, what Fox is reporting, and I, you know, three days ago, it was very sympathetic to George Floyd. And as of today, there was mention made of his extensive police record. So oh. the, truth, the truth about that, the truth about that is, uh, it, but it doesn't we, we, matter. It, it has even, nothing to do with it. That I don't is, even need to talk about that it. That is some fucking racism. Right That's in what there. I said. Without, That's it. Well, she Without very, very, word. she very smartly pointed out to nope. this person that I've also been arrested. Yeah. I have a record. <laughs> I pointed out different family members who are now upstanding, who mm-hmm. in their younger days were arrested. Did something stupid, and I was like, mm. <laughs> it made me happy sometimes. <laughs> but we're talking about excessive use of force to the point of murder, mm-hmm. not about what Repeatedly. that person did. 
Not about, it has nothing to do nothing. with it's, what the person did. Exactly. Right. So put that, the only reason you're bringing that up is that you're trying to justify it. You're trying, right. to, you're trying to look at that, you're trying to shrink that right. person's... But they don't even know that. They just right. start spewing back what Fox says yeah. as though that's newsworthy. If you stop, which I did, and said, do you get how that's racist? Yes. Do you get that? They do might you think- get that as a Christian that it's, we watched... Bel Air on Sunday, where he said it's Cain, God coming to Cain and saying, "What have you done?" And Cain saying, "Am I my brother's keeper?" Mm-hmm. So you're religious, mm-hmm. but you're not your brother's keeper. Right. That's out of the right. window. Right. Uh, if your brother had an arrest record, then he's out of here. I mean, it's like you you got to tie it all back together for him and put a bow but on let's, it. Right. Let's even talk about America, though. Okay, so let's. Okay, that's racist and horrible. Oh no, no, he was a black guy had a record. He deserved to get kneeled on for nine minutes. That being said, let's just talk about the Constitution. So that mm-hmm. cop got to be ju- judge, jury, and execution, right? right? With without without any because without no due no, no due process because right? o- cause this guy got arrested in 07. Because by the way, that's when he got arrested it was 07. So that that's what you're saying. So you're, you're basically saying that so because the guy has a, has a history, and by the way, since then he hasn't been. Uh, so you get to actually. Kill him, you get it aside, mm-hmm. Derek Chauvin. But you Trump get- deserves due process on all of these oh, lawsuits everybody. that he has. That- he deserves due mm-hmm. process on his financial. All the cops. Yeah, it's it's funny to me because these cops are like, hold on, hold on. We have to investigate and make sure that we we take all aspects to make sure this right, happened or not. Right. Yeah, but you didn't wait on For Fernando. Time. Fernando Casillo got shot six times yep. while sitting in his car. Uh, George Floyd got kneeled on for nine minutes. Uh, Alton Sterling got shot. He was selling yep. CDs. You made that decision so we, so we don't need to investigate if you're black right we don't need to actually come up with the facts if you're black but if you're if you're a white we definitely whoa 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 can we slow it down a hey, little hey, bit hey, little hey. bit rules, of due rules, process rules. little well, bit of name due process a time that there has been a white person killed that then fox would feel the need to report on their criminal history no hasn't happened it hasn't happened that's the thing we have no history of that and so I did shut that down this morning. Good job. I don't know what's coming next, but uh, I'm ready for it. Problem is we have people that don't think they're racist, but they have racist views. Correct. So, so they're racist. They don't want to, exactly. <laughs> but, but they don't. <laughs> right. But they, but they don't. They don't. They're, they're not uh, outward yeah, racist. I don't, like, I don't own slaves is not the line. Right. That's right. not the bar you need to right. clear. <laughs> they're not hunting not, black people in. Yeah, out, where, exactly. where was the, where was a. Uh, Exactly. There's, there's two I'm, guys that um, I've never hunted black people. <laughs> right. It's okay. You're right. good. <laughs> That's low bar again. But the, low but, bar. But the guy who who got nel- his nel- uh, neck uh, knelt on. What did he do wrong? What did he do wrong? Yeah. He did something. Well, the thing is, is that we have not really held up a mirror to people yet mm-hmm. for them to have to apply thought critical thinking yeah. critical thinking yeah. am i racist this is not something i've had to question before okay what do i think did i just say to a family member that he has an extensive police record because fox said that am i just regurgitating what would that mean do you know what i mean it's like mm-hmm. people have not had to stop and go oh do i think that these statues who right. you know for these confederate generals and these you know military bases should continue to be named after these slave owners who fought for slavery i do why do i think that oh because fox said that how do i really feel about that like people haven't had to do that well yet. you know what you just did you just proved why systematic racism exists mm-hmm. people don't even realize it mm-hmm. like they don't even you have Correct. to you have to think and people will say you know, you lefty lip tarps i gotta be honest with you again i'll say it again i have voted republican in my life what's going on now though as i got older and became uh, more educated i start and and the friends we have i started to realize that in the comics i know White people rarely get fucked with on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. Black people seem to get fucked with on a day-to-day mm-hmm. basis mm-hmm. for not doing anything, for walking home with some Skittles and a hoodie, for for driving with your girlfriend and your kid to your job and your concealed carry because the neighborhood you live in is so shitty that you need to protect yourself because you, they don't let black people own businesses because they can't get loans. Like when you start to break it down, you see the systemic, systemic part of it. Yeah. And people yeah. don't think, you're right, people don't think that hard. So now, even NASCAR, by the way, I gotta say something. So NASCAR became so Bubba at one point. My dad and I grew up on it and we loved it. We'd watch it every every week, we'd watch it. Um, 
And then I stopped doing it after he died because it just got so racist. Confederate mm. flags, oh, right. even the people that were in the infield, man, not exactly the not the cream of the crop of humanity. Really not. Um, there's some great people, but I'm talking to people that are just you know passed out under their motorhome. Where? Yeah, uh, on the infield. All the infield people. They would show like stuff that's going on in the infield. NASCAR races. I don't. I'm Usually never... in the south. Okay. It was a NASCAR. white trash festival. It, it really right? was. It really was. Yeah. Um, so I kind of stopped watching it. Um, and uh, and also the cars are still running carburetors at a fuel injection, and we live in a different era now, or I was still driving shit that was 1965. What, sorry, that's, that's the hot rod. I'm sorry. I just hot. want to say, <laughs> listen, uh, if NASCAR is going to be uh, the cream of the cup, because it used to be NASCAR actually showcased the technology that was currently in the cars. You know, race on Sunday, sell on Monday. That's how that worked. That was actually in there. <laughs> wow. But here's say that what, again. But here's... Uh, Race on Sunday, sell on Monday. Uh, so that's how it worked. That's why Chevy Ford. But now all the cars are like homogenized to a point where they're all the same. And they're still running carburetors. And not even a guy, a goddamn Toyota has freedom fuel injection. Can we get this right shit? Sorry. So, fuel injection. Sorry, that was my, that was my inner uh, car nerd just had to come out. Um, but NASCAR actually has banned the Confederate flag. As of today, NASCAR banned the Confederate flag at all its races. Here's the thing, right? So my dad said today, you know, they want to change. He didn't pass opinion, but I could hear the, the fox coming out. And he said, they want to change the names of bases. He's a military guy. Um, even Fort Benning, and that's where we lived, and some other ones. And and I just thought, like, why, why would you want to keep why does it matter? Like people keep saying it's history. Yeah, but what do you give a shit? Like right. these are the mm-hmm. same people. Pretty that sure when... all the Bennings are dead, pretty much, except for right. Annette Benning, and I'm, right. I'm sure she but wouldn't also, have a problem. Right. Pretty lefty. Right. She's Annette Benning's pretty lefty. These are generals that led you in a war that you lost. Right. So not the mm-hmm. best memory. And a war know? that you weren't standing for the goodness in people. You were standing to actually oppress and yeah, enslave another aside. race. Yeah, <laughs> that will tackle another day with some people. <laughs> but you lost, so he wasn't a very good general. Heritage. I think we can agree. And then there's oh, yeah. all these. Oh yeah, that's a good point. A military base named after a dude that got his ass kicked. That lost. Really not the best name. Like we. How about Fort uh, Losers? I'd rather go to Fort Schwarzenegger. Let's say <laughs> Fort Predator. Let's do something like that. You know, name him after name the base after people that. One. There you go. That's a that's a valid point. That's what I don't get. And also those people are fine with passage of time like with Trump. This is the Jedi mind trick. So we say, yeah. you know, he made pornos and he banged porn, porn stars, stars. Well, while his wife was giving birth and then he paid multiple porn That's stars. the past. You right. know, he's a different person now. Right. So if you're okay with with change and mm-hmm. people changing right if you're gonna if you're gonna we also say point. that that's the right. past so if right. you're gonna use if you're gonna use passage of time as an excuse yes maybe we don't need to have the heritage of the bases being named after guys who lost of your loser mm-hmm. generals mm-hmm. Yeah. i say you're as though i'm not from the south <laughs> not not only that is that we what you are what would it make a difference to name them right and it also show a solidarity to a group of people that have been fucked over for 450 years. I think, you know, I, I don't get it at all. I would love, you know, name them after uh, the base Kennedy or name them, just name it after people that are that You don't even great. have to name it after people. It could be like base badass or yeah. like something. Yeah. What would you, th- like if you say to me, I didn't know Benning. I, I asked my dad. I didn't even realize we lived there and I said, "Who is that?" And Reporting I had to look the him base up. project adventure. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> We're supposed to have fun in zipline. We are not killing people. <laughs> there doesn't have to be a name, you know. Give yeah. me a give me a good base name that would make you as the enemy go. Oh, we don't want to mess with you base. Know, like some kind of Fort Valor Fort, or something like yeah, Fort Blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what Fort Blade? Okay, Valor. I liked it. Was better. It made more sense. Fort Bullet. <laughs> no, okay, you're going a little too, <laughs> too, 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 too <laughs> So bro- widen it out, widen your bubble. Uh, uh, for, uh, for kick ass. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, let's go <laughs> in between <laughs> kick ass. For we gonna fuck you up. <laughs> okay, let's bring it back <laughs> okay, in. Okay, 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 let's go. We gonna fuck Hemi. you up to bullet and right in between there. Fort courage. Oh, oh, there you go. I love yeah, that. Yeah. I love that. Why would you name it after the loser? I don't get that. That's yeah. the only. Yeah. It's an interesting point. It's because what you're doing then is subliminally putting in everybody who works there something. You know, this, even the signs. It's subliminally totally. Help. Yeah, it's like monuments. Like that's those symbols. For sacrifice. Meaning. Wait a minute. Not only right, that. Right, it, was, right. it was also treason and 
a lot of a lot of negative connotations. So there's a great there. thread, guys. You should look it up. It's on my Twitter feed. Um, they went down um, all the way back to like uh, like the early '80s with Trump, uh, and they put sources in it. Look it up. I think it's from the Atlantic. They basically went down everything how he's worked with the Russians. There at one point there was uh, cash, Russian oligarchs. Uh, I didn't touch you. See, I got in your space, but I didn't touch you. Uh, Russian oligarchs. Uh, Thirty six of them pl- paid cash for all apartments in Trump Tower. Uh, Gary, uh, Jared Kushner tried to set up a back channel thing. Remember that was mm-hmm. in the news mm-hmm. beginning mm-hmm. Uh, to, to the Russians. Right. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you read it, it's like you, you read it. Anybody who, sh- by the way, you. I know you people. You Republicans won't have the balls to go look it up, but it breaks it are, down. Yeah, I love that you think Republicans are watching your podcasts. Well, I mean, some of the comments. You can see the comments. Oh, yeah, some uh, are. Some There's are. a few are. There's some, some comments. They're writing all caps. Those and are like, people <laughs> that stumble across <laughs> it on, on YouTube. Sentences. They misspell in all caps. And then. And, and sometimes <laughs> zero punctuation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, zero. So you can go vote vets. That's what I was trying to find on Twitter. Did a whole thread of all the bases that they want to rename. And then they told a quote that's attributed to that person. <laughs> and so this is about Lee. Example, direct quote. Blacks do not possess the intellectual capacity to vote and participate in politics. Ooh. Yeah, that doesn't sound. Hey, hey, hey. That's like that the equivalent of Kevin Hart's Twitter true. feed yeah. <laughs> eight years ago. It's like, oh god. Oh. <laughs> so he said that, and then we we have a base named after that asshole. That's what I there? mean. Like, what, what are more we holding those? on to? Oh, there's a ton of. Oh, them. oh there's like you know Columbus. There's how many monuments of uh, a holes? You know, uh, someone said a great idea. Uh, get rid of Columbus Day. Make that exact holiday voting yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. Make that exact holiday voting day. Yep. You know, we every day we get to do it. And we get a holiday, so everybody can everybody yeah, can make holiday, it. Yeah, everybody can make it. Fort Polk in Louisiana. Right. Um, he was a bishop. He was also the largest slave owner in his entire county. He had four hundred slaves. He saw it as his duty to fight in the war for slavery. Died in battle with the reputation of a failed commander, and we named a base. Let's after name a base him. after where we were. <laughs> wow! Wow! It's a good point, by the way. It's uncomfortably. I'm sure you could you, you could find it is embarrassing something wrong with every person, right? Nobody's perfect. However, we should at least have our uh, bar uh, to clear. Yes, <laughs> of our of our collective values represented by a person who you know holds them hmm. to, 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 to our highest this ideals. This is like you naming your Tinder username after your gay wife. <laughs> Makes no sense at all. That's right. Hundred percent. you yes. Hundred percent. It's a failed marriage. Right. Right. And that's your, and that's your. <laughs> yeah. It was treason. Totally. She committed Total treason. treason. Yeah. And lied and lied. Corruption. And corruption. now you're trying to move into this new era, but you name your account after yes. her. It's exactly right. Is, so here's the thing. Sorry. So the Germans, it's illegal uh, in Sexual Germany. Sexual treason. It's, it's illegal in Germany to uh, display a swastika, to wear a swastika, um, uh, to actually mm-hmm. uh, distribute Nazi propaganda. Mm-hmm. Uh, their heritage is, is not good. Our heritage, for some reason, these people that were oppressed, who uh, the only difference between them and us is we have a lot less melanin and don't do as well mm-hmm. in the sun. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's it. Genetically, exactly the same. Yeah. I don't quite understand why we would actually make it to the people that oppress those people it's still okay to have bases i didn't even think about that what would if i had to show up at, at a place called fort candy ass because my dad called me that all the time yeah uh, you know uh, a fort fort douchebag you know fort fort could be in a faggot uh, <laughs> see which was my paternal dad treason me. yeah right yep. paternal treason yep. i would i would bu- it would bum me out if i had to show up every day there that's what i mean it's yeah. not so these black soldiers showing up at a place were right. named after a guy that oppressed them. That yes. kind of sucks. It really sucks. That kind of sucks. And it's not something that I think a lot of people just really thought about. But now you're you're getting an opportunity to think about it. But that's a, that. See, so when people say there's no systemic racism, you are very you today. Honestly, you've done a great job at clearing it up. There's like this. It 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 exists almost in everything we do. And a lot of it is based in tra- tradition and yeah. putting Heritage. in quotes. Heritage. Customs. Yep. But so we... History. Get, history. And America. Th- history. The thing mm-hmm. is, too, is that if you're born into the that tradition or those customs, it does require critical thought at some point for you to stop and say, because I very easily could have other leaning views based on where I came from. You and did. a lot of my family... You kind of did. No, I did not. not. Not far off from where you are now, but you were. No, I hate I'm, John Stewart. When hi, first, I hate John hi, Stewart. Hi, hi. 
talking about racism. No, you always never had a different opinion on racism. So thank you. That's valid. I run shit here. So. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. I could have very easily assimilated into that which was surrounding me, and a lot of my family members do. And I have to, sometimes I email people I don't know on email threads when they send dumb shit out and then a family member forwards it. I email people in somewhere else I've never even met and call them on the racism for forwarding these stupid emails. Yeah. But that's the thing is that it requires critical thinking. This is a great time now because it's, it's giving people an opportunity to stop and say, okay, how do I really feel about this? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. My question is this though, what creates it still? So it's 2020. We have we have seen. We there there is obviously no difference in intellect. There's obviously no no difference. Uh, uh, period. And what still creates it is it people that can't face that their life isn't successful enough to what they think it should be, so they want to blame somebody else. I just don't. I just still don't get it. Like, you would be hard pressed to find someone that is truly racist. That. Um, I would consider any sort of great success in the world. And I don't just mean financially, but it's often there is a type. You know, there are outliers, of course, but there is definitely a type. Well, they played an interesting thing about racism. Trump, there was a speech he did years ago, and someone, they had dug it up, Anderson Cooper had dug it up, and it's Trump talking about, <laughs> so I saw, I was in the car, I was laughing so hard at one point, because he starts going, he goes, you know, you know, honestly, I have to say this, is that uh, that uh, uh, if you're black right now, if you're a well-educated black, you have a better uh, better chance at things uh, uh, if, than if you're a, a white person. Yeah. You know, if you're a black, and honestly, right now, if I had a choice right now, I would like to have been born a well-educated black. Oh, my Dude, you're not a well well-educated white. Exactly. <laughs> like, That's like, what I'm talking, you talking about. about. You don't see... But you got to listen to the... It's it's like... You, you, there's a type. There is a type. I was banging my head against a steering wheel. I would say I there's really so two predominant types that you see as in groups of racists. Right. And those don't you are... Think? Um, I, would I will try say to do impre- I will now try to do impressions. Being both. from the South, the two that I saw are um, one like in the Ahmad Arbery, the father-son... That hey, man, you see that guy walking through our neighborhood? Mm-hmm. He ain't the same color as you. You notice that? You know what he wasn't carrying? Boom box. You know what he's doing? He's going house to house to find one for himself. I think we need to do our American duty and follow that boy. And there is the uh, rich, white, powdery white, powdered wig, pink-skinned Mitch McConnell, Donald Steve Trump, Stephen, Stephen Miller. Miller, who want mine mine this is mine no one else can right. have mine yeah by the way here the reality is the reality is that what's happening to white people is we're slowly getting pushed out and honestly we built this country uh sure we use slave labor but the reality is we built this country and it's our country and we do not want them taking our stuff away so what we're going to do is enact these policies and keep them from voting so we can actually keep things the way they are because the way they are have worked plenty fine for a very long time thank you both of those people are 100% real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That is the scary not part. Make, there's no caricature. You're right. <laughs> like, I didn't go any like, further. That's funny, but damn, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is real. <laughs> that's funny, but damn it, I know yeah, that guy. Yeah. yeah. Shit. I do. That's what I, that's what I mean. Like, you often find that the ones who believe in white supremacy are not a great specimen of white. <laughs> of whiteness. <laughs> it ain't Schwarzenegger no, in Terminator. You yeah. You don't want to be that. <laughs> oh, you're, the, you're the championing Mr. white? Mr. You Burns. Were. They're Mr. Yeah, Burns. Yeah, yeah. Stephen yeah. Miller is Mr. Burns. He really like, is. Ex- excellent. Yeah. Well, we have the White House. Mm, next to the world. Mm, as long as Putin okays it. <laughs> I'm so tired of everything. I'm tired. <laughs> so I don't like anything. You know, this has been, uh, the last couple of years have been, uh, we never thought it could happen. You know, we've been mm-hmm. taught our whole lives about America being such a great, uh, awesome, and fair, and uh, justice in an American way. And mm-hmm. man, have we not really lived up to that in the last three and a half years. And this asshole if he keep- keeps tweeting, make America great again. And he's been president for almost four years. Oh, Even he so- doesn't get right. how ridiculous that is. 30 million out of work, 115,000 dead from COVID that he didn't respond to. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, COVID's over. Haven't trade, you heard? Oh, yeah, trade, it's over. We're, we're it's the, gone. We're, our farmers are screwed. Our farmers are on welfare. 
We, we made America great Arizona again. Arizona hospitals just shipped out 500 patients to different hospitals because they're getting they're, overrun. Yeah, yeah. but We're COVID's back. over. We're yeah, back. There's, there's hot spots now. Yeah. Well, so when when is he going to make America great? When was he going to do Second that? I thought term. he was going to do that. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh. This was, this was just a practice he's run. Just, he's warming he's up. Laying the it's groundwork. A, it's a warm he's up. Warming it's up. a warm okay. up. Like, yep. you know, when you do a workout uh, and for three oh, years, right, you actually right. stretch. Uh, loosen up. And then right, the right, next right. four years, you bust your golfing. ass. Right. I, I don't I don't quite get it's it. It's all Obama's fault. Oh, so this this first term was Obama's fault. First had to fix what Obama messed up. Oh, I get it. I get it now. No, nobody always says before before he never says it the right way. He always says, you know, before COVID hit, we had the strongest economy in the ever in the world. He never says before I totally ignored COVID and let it overrun the country and kill 115,000 Americans. We were doing okay because Obama got the train rolling right? and I couldn't pull the brake. That's the whole thing. He runs the narrative. He runs, like... You said it today. So now today, all we're talking about on the news is how he tweeted that this 75-year-old man who you can hear his head split and oh. blood come out of his ear in Buffalo. You see him go out. You see actually he just everything And just he kinda... tweeted that it was a scanner to wipe out police equipment. And you people actually zoomed in on the man's hand that slowly releases as he passes out. And it's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. Yeah. And he, our, the president of the United States tweets about a private citizen, um, alleges that he's Antifa and that he was up to something that else. He's a, basically a 75 year old man. He's an operative. He's an operative. He, he fell he, harder than he was pushed. He fell harder than he was pushed, which means he, he, he faked it. Mm-hmm. It was basically, he got, you guy played soccer for years. He flopped it. Total flop. Faked the brain damage. He, he's in the hospital Total. with Best little, sock. Little by the way, packet of red. Yeah, yes. Uh-huh. Though they said he had a thing that squirted blood. It was, mm-hmm. you know, it's soccer flop. Totally. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, and here's my thing: if Antifa is recruiting 75 year old men to actually take down the system. We shouldn't be worrying about Antifa, right, right, right. whatever the hell it is. I would love Antifa if that were the case. <laughs> if it were real. They're so cute. I, I would question Antifa and be like, oh, well, maybe they're onto something. If Do a 75-year-old you know man be? is in it. Yeah. When I did that, when I headlined right, in Irvine wisdom. at the Improv, um, a, an elder, a senior citizen flash mob came out. They dance, you know randomly in public places and they were all like in their 70s and 80s which was the most amazing thing ever for me because old people are my favorite um that would be antifa it would be an elderly flash mob also anybody who fought uh, in world war ii would be antifa uh jesus was antifa Mm -hmm. uh who Mm -hmm. else uh, john f kennedy was antifa Mm -hmm. uh any uh gandhi was antifa Mm -hmm. so the funny thing is that they're they're trying to build this weird narrative and antifa stands for anti-fascist yeah yeah yeah. so so you're profa you're pro-fascist you 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 want hitler was a fascist uh you know these are all these fascists are bad people who we hold up in genghis khan right was a fascist so we're holding all these so, so yes anti where can point me towards antifa because i'd like to buy a f- t-shirt <laughs> right <laughs> sorry beep f out of that but the point being that that's what we're talking about today is that the president did that and we're not talking about COVID, COVID. anymore well uh i point yeah you said i pointed that out guys here's what he's great at and he's done it you got to remember on a daily basis this guy screws up daily basis mm-hmm. and he says something outrageous and i started to get it when he's tweeted out what's the, i wonder if he sits down and goes what's the worst thing i could tweet out that would divert a from me being a coward hiding in the basement and putting another fence around the fence that's already around the white house so mm-hmm. i'm a coward and a loser the economy's tanking uh, we've got hundreds of thousands of people dying from a disease that I fucked up and didn't pay attention to. When we have when we have facts that Obama stopped Ebola and we had two people die, what would be the worst thing I could do that would distract? I know. I'm going to go after that old guy who got right. slammed to the pavement, and I'll take the other tack on it so people point get mad about that instead of all this real shit mm-hmm. that's going to crash the economy. How is the stock market staying up? I don't understand. We got 30 million people out of work in the stock market's killing it. We're printing money right now. Yeah, the Fed is keeping it up. Fed's just Prop investing up. in the yeah. stock market. I don't know, man. We're we're crazy. Housing market isn't dropping. Our home that we bought in January, the guy just said it's gone up in value. How is that possible uh, from I'm, January to now in the middle of a global pandemic? Do you know this scares pandemic? me? It, you know, it feels like it feels like what the stories you hear about 1929, you feel like everything was it was just fucking and and, and then it just one day Boom! I, I it, guys, it scares me. I hope I'm wrong. I'm glad we only have a two-story house. <laughs> yeah, okay. you'll just I'm just getting. I'll just hear. Ow. I might make the <laughs> you, you hear. Ooh. Damn Ow. it! Twisting my ankle. <laughs> I rubbed my ankle. 
Mm-hmm. Almost made the pool. <laughs> <laughs> you took a picture of me. I was on the phone with my sister in a tube floating around. Oh, like a pool inner tube, in, like a pool tube. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm a big fan of the tube because you can float and drink. I have tubes that I keep at grandma's house for the beach every summer. Big fan of the tube. <laughs> I float in the ocean, don't I, all yep, day long yep. with a drink in one hand. Yeah. Yep, yep, and yep. he took a picture of me and I was like, you better not post that on Twitter. Blah, 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 blah. And he leaves and I get a text and it says, um, what did it say? The the um, global pandemic is really out of control. And underneath is this picture of me floating <laughs> in a tube with a drink on the phone. Well, you're, sw- you know, chlorine. You're good. <laughs> I'm making Surrounded. the best of a bad situation. Thank you. I'm sad that uh, LA got clean. I think I think this this pan lockdown was proof that we need electric cars all the time. First of all, they're faster, they're better, they they're easier to fix, uh, and they're less maintenance. But uh, the air was clean. Yeah, like we like yeah, LA you cleared see the up. Bounds, yeah, and, and when it comes to clean air. Oh wow! How did you remember who was advertising today? I'm so proud of you. Uh, this episode brought to you by Molecule. Yay! I see. Come on, I let her down the path. Do Boom. you know what's crazy? Um, do you guys remember that um, holistic healing center I went to yep. with mom? Oh hi. Oh, hi, Great in place. San Diego. Mm-hmm. They just sent out an email yesterday saying that they've changed to all organic bedding and that every room, right. na- every room now has a molecule air filter in it. Oh, wow. And then they describe how molecule cleans the air, which, and those people, they're hardcore health study people yeah, you go live there you can't have any electronics or you have to eat you eat you eat basically rabbit food it's mm. organic raw vegan it's mm. they grow it there it's it's you h- get hard wheatgrass enemas oh, for real s- right yeah. and yeah. colonics wheatgrass colonics that never mind mm. let's just say mm. <laughs> i had a <laughs> bad time with one uh <laughs> molecule and this is what they talked about exclusive different than um hepa filters because it's pico it's photoelectrochemical oxidation which they talked about in this email it actually instead of masking them it destroys the pollutants in the air instead of just capturing them and hiding them in the, in the foam filter yes. it yes. basically <laughs> gets rid of it and pollutants that it does destroy our viruses, bacteria, mold, and chemicals instead of just collecting them on filters. You're so smart. I don't even know what to do with you. Um, they're using them in medical spaces now. These, this is We have one. We're big fans of these, and we're always really freaked out by what it does also capture in the filter. Right? The filter mm. always looks like someone actually has crushed uh, a charcoal bar cr- yeah. cat every time we clean it. Right. And, and, and not only that, but... I, when we would go on the road, and hopefully we'd be back on the road soon enough doing comedy again. <laughs> but we'd go on the road, we'd go to a hotel room, and she would, she would just, her, she would, her, her head would pack full of stuff. Yeah. She'd start, she has allergies bad. And then we'd go home for like a day, and because we have it in the house, and it would go away. So right. No more allergies. Right. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so we have the regular molecule. It's designed for rooms up to 600 square feet. They have the Air Mini, so you can build a system. That's for smaller rooms, like 200 up to 250 square feet. They have the Air Mini Plus, protects small rooms, but has a particle sensor and auto protect mode, which it senses what's needed and auto adjusts that's the one we got to get next and they now are doing a molecule air pro rx it's an fda cleared 501k class 2 medical device wow all i just say is i feel healthier since can we got get it. that sure yes of course we can i don't have um allergy problems when i sleep at home in my bed right. anymore right. um and you don't get allergies you just have allergy sympathy not cold sympathy. i have well, sympathy symptoms for weaker allergy. people right. hachu oh god i'm see i'm with i'm just like you guys with you. Yeah. i feel you. weak horrible dying species so um, the other thing to know is that this meets performance criteria and FDA guidance for use during COVID-19. So wow. We're all home right now. Well, some of us are. Some of us are stepping out. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So go to their website. It's actually spelled M-O-L-E-K-U-L-E dot com. You can get 10% off your first air purifier order. Um, and if you just go at checkout and enter Titus 10. 
you can get that's for any of the air Got mini it. plus awesome. and, they're, and they're not they're not super cheap so that's a good that's actually a, you, that's a ton, that's, that's a, a lot off. A lot. it's actually yeah. a yeah that 10 is a decent amount off and totally worth it we've been using ours for three years now. every day it's it it, 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 runs. it, 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 it runs constantly in it and it i I, th- I was just thinking that what you're talking i was thinking oh man the, the engineering of it has to be pretty badass because mm-hmm. the thing runs all the time right, right, right. i just change the filters they give you instructions on when to change them but um, How often that's do all you, you do, do and they're How bad and the was filters it? How bad are cheap. Was crazy. It's really? crazy. Like a grill, like you like like cleaning out a grill or something. There's two yeah. things, but the one on the bottom, you just pull out. It was the actually tray. Chi- that's how good this thing is. It was actually Sucked chicken bones. All the- it was chicken bones. <laughs> there was like garbage. Yeah. And- yeah. <laughs> Our um, after the bottles, fires once because we're coming into fire season again. But last year after fire season, yeah. he said change that, and we pulled it out, and it was black. Yeah. It and its stuff fell off. I mean, it was crazy. It screamed. So anyway, Ten percent off your first air purifier order. Visit molecule.com at check out inner Titus 10 so what they did in georgia with the the voter uh voting was and people were pissed so you got covid going on right so everyone's mm-hmm. six feet apart you've got um so brian kemp let's just lay this out and I, we we've we've seen this on a couple of news session now and i did some research on it today brian kemp the guy who became governor of georgia during his election in 2016 the dude actually was in charge he was also the sec- uh, secretary uh, what was he the he his other job was he ra- ran the election basically he ran the election so he's the one who set the rules for the election who uh, brian kemp the guy who became right. governor he, was he set secretary the rules of state. secretary was it say no that's good it's like something else he was secretary of state while he was running for governor right so he set the rules for the yes. election okayed which voting machines uh got put out there then okayed how those voting machines ran Mm -hmm. and for some reason uh the election was really close uh and stacy abrams uh, lost very very few votes now Hmm. was it made by kemp industries yeah those voting machines exactly (laughs) and then his so the guys here's how corrupt we're getting as as uh, and by the way this all goes back to chief uh, chief uh justice uh, john roberts who basically blew through the voting rights act (laughs) racism is over we don't need the voting rights act anymore basically is what he said <laughs> Coincidentally, of all, all of those uh, neighborhoods that the poll machines were down yeastery in Georgia were minority predominantly yeah. minority neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I'm yes. sure that's a coincidence. I'm sure it was because so, racism is over. So, but here's the thing. So, so his guy, the guy that worked for Brian Kemp, mm-hmm. got a lobby job working for a voting machine company. He, Brian Kemp, bought. That now they did an independent study and they decided which voting machines they should use. The the voting machine that was recommended by the the independent committee mm-hmm. uh, wasn't used. They'd done research on all the voting machines. They did the second choice. They did the second choice, yes. which happened to be, happened to be again coincidentally. I touched you again. Sorry, uh, happened to be coincidentally the company that Brian Kemp's old assistant guy now lobbies for, that's and that's so the weird. voting machine. Oh, my God. Like, what was the criteria? You know what? Does that if one I vote for know, me? That's the one. If I didn't one. know better, I would think it seemed shady, uh-huh. but because I know that they will never do that. <laughs> <sighs> so we are in a corrupt, corrupt hole in America right now. I know. I got it. Who does that remind you of? My aunt, aunt, <laughs> my aunt Sandy. <laughs> Who just pokes you all the time? You do it now. I didn't do it. Well, you're looking at your computer, and I guess I want your attention. Uh, oh. I live for your attention. Yay! <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> uh, so you got corruption going on there. Then there was uh, Iowa. So ch- this is the trippy thing. I saw this last night on the news. So uh, is Iowa? Iowa had this great election. Mm-hmm. They had more people voted in this in this primary than it ever voted in a, 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 a Iowa primary oh. or a Iowa. I <laughs> yeah, That's so, what I was just thinking. <laughs> in an Iowa primary, the Republicans, um, and it was all mail in voting. Everybody got their vote. They checked it. Every it the best, the best they've ever done. The Republicans in Iowa are trying to stop it. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've had the best uh, voting turnout they've ever had. Mm-hmm. They've had uh, no problems with uh, fraud. And the Republicans are like, no, 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 too many people voting. Sorry, we've got to stop that. It must be fraud, you know, because um, 
suddenly we made it more accessible and easier for people to vote right. that have jobs and you know don't right. have cars or right. whatever. Can't we afford made to miss a day of work. Easier to vote. for all citizens to vote. So and they did. So it must be fake. And they're like, no, no, no. We can't have. We no. Whoa. This whole country was designed on for the people by the people. We can't have for the right. people by the people. <laughs> What? We didn't mean all people. We didn't mean all people. Yeah, Not you, for you people. You guys used to be three-fifths of a people. And we know we didn't mean all people because the dudes that signed the document owned some of those other people. Right. <laughs> and those people didn't have those rights then. Exactly. Uh, heritage. Exactly. Custom <laughs> tradition. Custom <laughs> tradition. So what do we do here? What do we do? Like, how do we, how do we fix it? I think... We, the three of us specifically. <laughs> well, we're doing our part right we're, now. We're, yes. We're doing we're our part right it. now. This is and all we're doing. Talking about we're, penises. We, we cover the spectrum. Yeah. Vote. Encourage other people to vote. Right now, right now, um, get your mail in ballot registration. Get it done. Give yourself this many months in advance. Encourage everyone else you know to do that. If your state allows that, do it now. This gives you time to then say, it never came. Like, for example, the mayor of Atlanta, hers never came. And they so, do that a lot. Yes. 60, so it gives you time didn't get when they asked to them. try to get it to come. And then if it still doesn't, to make plans to get somewhere where you can vote. I would recommend if you do live in a minority neighborhood in the South to work it out with some friends and get in a car and go to some of those rich old white lady neighborhoods and get in line there. Because turns out there weren't can long you do lines. That? Can't you, you have to be in your. I think now you have to. You be only vote get to in go your to your county or yeah, in your. Yeah, you have to be registered in your. Yeah, we. we yeah, but you're we, still in the county. But we always look up our polling places. Yeah, that's another problem. You're still in your county, though. Um, Can't if, you if go it's anywhere within your, within your? I think so. They're, t- they're passing ID laws that you have to have three plus ID. Let's look guess that up. guess what's not okay. Uh, in some places, I think Arizona was you couldn't use a student ID and you couldn't use a driver's license. It had to be uh, use a had, had to be birth certificate, had to be birth certificate or uh, credit card. It was like the weirdest like combination of shit. Like what? Because uh, some people don't have credit cards, so mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So they're doing. So people, here's what I'm saying. We hear a lot. Vote, go vote, go vote. Hey, dude, vote. Rock the vote. I don't care about any of that shit. Oh, my God. You got to go to a specific polling place? Yes. Here's the thing. I I just, we got to clear this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is important. Yep. I voted by mail the last 10 years. Yep. I did too. I voted last year. So that's how they're doing it. (laughs) The plot just thickened. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're basically cutting people out. You can only vote in one place and and that place doesn't work. Right. And because they, they killed the Voting Rights Act, they gutted it. Um, so what used to happen is they wanted to kill a polling place, guys. They would they they had to go to the federal government. If you go, we don't want it, we're not putting a polling place in this neighborhood. Federal government would go, whoa, 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 whoa. You're disenfranchising those voters in that neighborhood. Right, you can't right, right. do that. Right. And there's over 870 cases in the last 10 years where the government stopped it. Said, nope, you got to have a polling place there. Well, because a judge, Ro- Chief Justice John Roberts, is the motherfucker that did this, because he gutted that law. They can now do whatever they want. They're, they can move, kill a polling place. They can cancel a polling mm-hmm. They can close it. They can move it 30 miles outside. They did this in um, yeah. I, 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 it was Texas or New Mexico or Arizona. They moved it 20 miles <laughs> outside. I thought of, that was Kansas. Of town. I don't know. Was it Kansas? might have been. They moved it 20. So there was a Hispanic, a big, huge Hispanic population yeah. mm-hmm. in, in the town. Mm-hmm. They took the polling place that was in the center of the town, and they moved it 25 miles outside of town. At like this quarry, right, right, <laughs> like, right. Got to go to vote in the quarry. <laughs> why? So, so just guys, here's what I'm gonna say. Everybody tells you to vote, and you don't know why. Imagine how important your vote is if all these guys are trying to stop it. Imagine how much that vote is worth. Imagine how priceless and precious that vote is if these assholes want to take it away from you. Go and look up if you're in a highly contested state as well because know that you need to start planning now so let's start with this for example florida you can vote early all you have to do is go on um florida's website dos.myflorida.com because florida is a big one you can cast your ballot early in person at different um, locations and times and those are all listed on this website also vote by mail same thing you can request and vote by mail so if you can't, don't get your ballot in the mail go to these early because the, they're not as packed as 
voting right. day, actual right. election day. Guys, this is worth researching. Here's the yes. thing. We will not fix this, what's going on, unless we take it back. And when I say take it back, I don't mean take it back from the Republicans. I mean take it back from this specific group. And I wouldn't even call them Republicans because Lincoln was Republican. I, I wouldn't call these guys Republicans. They're, Barbara they're, Bush said this is not Yeah, the party this is not the Republican that, Party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is not. We want to get our country back. To at least, you know, so I was talking to Patrick Megan, who's a guest on our show. He wrote that. He wrote it. By the way, go get his comic. If you're a comic fan, she kills. It's awesome. It's such an original idea. It's so great. But Pat, I talked to Patrick this go week. Go get his what? His comic book. He did a he graphic novel. Sorry. 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 Graphic novel. I don't. Uh, by the way, comic books, uh, that's, uh, you should get those. Uh, Bazooka Joe is a comic. <laughs> uh, these are graphic novels. Uh, Big created difference. created by artists and mm -hmm. writers mm -hmm. that are geniuses, mm -hmm. uh, and they're and it's much a bigger palette than a comic book, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I feel Ryan here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sense his presence. Um, anyway, go on your voting websites. Just search uh, how do I vote in Georgia, how do I vote in Florida, and get to work now. Yeah, do it now, guys. Because if you don't, uh, what'll happen is three days before you be like, hey, do I, did I get my ballot? I didn't get it. What do you mean? Right. And also, don't let it go unnoticed. But lifelong Republicans, General Mattis, General Kelly, mm -hmm. um, Colin Powell, go see what they John said. John Brennan. Go. Go, yeah, go see what they said about this president. Just in this last week, there have been, I think, 11 admirals mm -hmm. and generals speak up finally and say what's at risk if we vote for Trump. It, it has now been said on record, this is a vote for America, America. Or, or Donald Trump. Yeah. Trump. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. make sure that you do vote. And also, when you go vote, you want to look super dapper and do you? slick and handsome, right? don't you? So how would I do that? And also military men we just talked about, they they always do what every day? Wouldn't miss a day if you're a military guy. Push-ups. Or a woman. Nope. They quit doing those <laughs> once they become officers of a Eyebr certain rank. Eyebrow tweezing? No. Nope. <laughs> what do they do? They shave every day. Oh, right. My dad cannot not shave. My grandfather, it's not happening. Do you have my dad has little high and tight hair mm -hmm. and shaves every day. Uncle Dennis, you're not going to catch these people no. with Beardy. beards or yeah. stubble. Um, They're never going to for the special day. ops guys, though. Yeah, 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 those yeah right. Those beards. guys. Well, that was because that changed. You know, Afghanistan changed that. Afghanistan and Iraq. Oh, right. Did it? Beards came back because of that. Those oh. guys went over. Then they had to grow them because uh, yeah. But now they're back. And you know what they used when they shaved that off? Harry's. Or they should. Have you changed your facial hair? Either of you for the whole stay at home situation? No, I, I, my comes, mine's coming in a little white now, and I'm not digging it. So I, I get rid of it. I like that. Men are, men are more distinguished when they go gray. <laughs> I, <laughs> they, they're just older. Women, they're, and they're creating more peroxide women in their bodies. It's health, in it's our a, it's society need to be put out to pasture when they go gray. But men, oh, look how distinguished you are. I like the gray. Really? Yeah. I'm going to keep shaving it. Okay. I don't like it. Your, <laughs> we had his My Harry's son are... over the other day, and he said, he said, I'm growing a mustache. <laughs> and all three, Kenny, you and I all went. I didn't. <laughs> really? No, oh, I just thought. Now? Yeah. It's cute. Or yeah, you're I going to. I just thought you hadn't washed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a layer of dirt on yeah, there. Yeah. My, you had, you had you, chocolate bar? Yeah, chocolate milk. Yeah, yeah. You had some chocolate milk. My like sister that. is now a convert. Yep. Gave her the whole trial set. And now this is all she uses. And she even said, she said, how is this razor so much better than all the other razors? And I didn't know about it. Uh, I can tell you, I tell her why. Five Blades, German factory, uh, the, the level of quality they maintain, because we've been using it now, what, three or four years? Five Longer years? Longer than that. Five yeah. years. I, I will say this, I've never grabbed another Harry's, because here's what I think, sometimes I'll find a, a product that works, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And then that product, Perfect Bars, I'm gonna call out right now, Perfect Bars used to come in this, every bar was a pack the package. Now when I get a Perfect Bar, there's an inch missing in it now. Uh -huh. And the package is still the same size. So eventually companies start to go, oh, yeah, you know, man, we can drop the quality. We already, we got our, we established our market. Let's bring our market, let's bring our profit up a little bit. Harry's, 
I, whether they brought their profit up or not, thank God they didn't change the, the blades because it it is perfect every time. I'm so I, like I enjoy shave. I used to because the other my old ones the what the three blade mm-hmm. I think I, would pull. Mm-hmm. It would pull. And if I went the other way, it'd mess it up. I've never had that with her. Yeah, don't go the other way ever. No, never had it. Um, so right now that trail set I was just talking about that my sister has, you can go to Harrys.com/slash/Titus. You get the weighted handle, the five blade razor, the rich lathering shave gel, and the trail travel blade cover um all you have to do is go to harrys.com slash titus to start shaving better today we ain't lying harrys. Got, you gotta go Face um, try their body wash um redwood that's the new flavor that's my favorite i uh i'm almost out already so i need to get more go to harrys.com i will go to harrys.com slash again. titus or my lovely wife will actually call our our person and maybe i'll get sent some harrys do you hear they're not sending you body wash. That is true. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? This they pay for the ad. They ain't giving you free shit. He wants me to go online and order it. Right. He called me okay. two weeks this is, ago. This is not. I, I don't. To don't ask me. There's no reason. To call someone. Why? <laughs> Here's why. Here's why. I call you to call them. Call them. <laughs> I said, did you just call me to ask me to call someone for you? I, we have to clear this. Up. Oh, do That's tell. This, this has got to be cleared, cleared up. up. Okay. I okay. am an asshole. <laughs> so I, I, no, Thank no, you, no. guys. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> this entire podcast was built for him to say that. Here's what I mean. If I'm unhappy with... Uh, and, and, I, and I know what it's from. It's my fault. I have had to do a, be a stand-up comic for many years. Mm-hmm. And if you're not funny, if I don't do mm-hmm. my job exactly perfect every night, they go, uh, you, you, hold your on, show. Hold on. Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's right here. Uh, justification is on Hi, the Justification. I'm explaining why uh, I, I called her to make a phone call for me. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make sense. All right. So <laughs> the point is this. I... I, so when someone makes me mad, it was I was asking you to call a company. I was asking you to call somebody. I know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start off with, uh, can I speak to your fucking supervisor? That's how I'm going to start off. No, no. The, you, this was the day. That was another week. You. You wanted me. He called me and said, hey, can you call our doctor and ask our doctor to put us on the list for the antibody test? Because... You're, he likes you. You're pretty. <laughs> he really likes you. He's not putting me on the list. You, the way you look, he want, he's 80. He wants you there. In his, uh, and yes. He, uh, so yeah. you thought you were, he, she's going to be able to get it done. Yes. More you got to remember that this yeah. dude, that this dude was like, uh, uh, had her come in for a foot thing once. I was like, you need to take your shirt off. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she was like, oh, okay, I guess it's good. Too, I'm here but, for this spot on my yeah, forehead. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you got to take your yeah, shirt, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. I was, shirt off. I had to take my bra off so he could listen to my lungs and then another time I was and doing was, Kegels he made me demonstrate Kegels <laughs> so that uh, for lower back pain I was just trying to get pain meds but it didn't work I did Kegels instead <laughs> yeah I didn't and think he's about thinking it until later she's flexing it right now <laughs> Ew. I have to check your lungs, so do some Kegels so I can <laughs> yeah, check exactly. your lungs. I got home exactly. and I was like, damn so it, I got figured, me again. I figured. I'm here she, for a mammogram. She would do get, some Kegels. She always walks out crying from the office. <laughs> I am not so, going to him I for a mammogram. So uh, I was asking because I figured she would get it. She would get the appointment. Right. Yeah. Right. He's not asking me. And, uh, this week you asked do me some to call ball crunches. a cable <laughs> company. <laughs> but yes, you called me to call someone. That's how that went down. You just, you're better at it. Or uh, you'll case, turn to me. You were on the phone with someone last week point. and you turned mm. to me and you said, mm. hey, I'm right next to you. And you go, hey, can you go on Amazon and order me some baseballs? <laughs> Like, order your own damn baseballs. Do you have baseballs yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> I could. So I could order my own baseball. <laughs> it's not a bad. This like, is a valid point. So, but I. But I, I. Sometimes I ask you to call because you're better at Why it. Why do you I ask am. me to order baseballs? I. It was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what did you need baseballs? For? I don't know. I, you know what it is? Because uh, I'm, I'm making. I'm, just a bit. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> make. No, I'm gonna make bit. I'm gonna Do make, something. Uh, uh, hooks. I'm gonna make. Uh, so you use the baseball. It doesn't work. You run it. You run a J hook through them, and you bolt the bolt it to it, and then you can use them for, as a ninja warrior stuff. And uh, in the shop here, we have this. Oh. Hooks, so I'm gonna go. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. So but you still don't have baseballs. I don't. I, <laughs> I should have ordered. I could have had baseballs by now. This but is keep, why you asked me to but order them. I keep them. waiting for you to order them. <laughs> 
Do you know how to order from Amazon? <laughs> no. No? Not baseball. You know who you remind me of is Warren from um, Something About Mary. That's whenever you ask me to get you baseballs. Oh, you mean some baseballs. Yeah, so, but but most of the time, case in point, uh, we had Spectrum, uh, a, a, a company, basically, so, so I guess Spectrum works like this, a cable company an internet company what they do is if you move which we moved to the new house they instead of just taking your account and going oh let's just move it to the new house mm -hmm. we'll change we'll change the address right which would be simple that would be efficient to just some degree it over right, yeah, yeah. zippity doo -da, okay. done and then anything that was left on that account would be in front of you just mm -hmm. well, assign it to this no in the last three times we moved we have three different spectrum accounts now three and uh, they, there was equipment that was on all three right so we moved the equipment with us we brought it with us mm -hmm. um, and then they sent us new equipment for the new place and so the other equipment was there they put the price of the equipment on the old accounts after we moved and they charged never us told for us. us and never told us so there's a $59 job. I've been working on my credit for 13 years oh. to get it right oh is that what that was so there yes. was there was a fifty nine dollar on, on all the time every bill it paid off my Tesla everything I've done to fix my I credit. Heard you talking about then that. these the douchebags left fifty nine dollars on it for, for a, a router. Let's, they just for a four four years ago. just keep it on there. Yeah, for a, it's a ago. steam router. It's an old one. It's it not took even a them good four router. Four years of not <laughs> notifying <laughs> us for them to send it's it to Eli collections. Whitney router. <laughs> and luckily though, in during the course of all this, because this was the company I did call when he asked me to, because I did know that he would cuss them out and he did already i had already cussed um, someone guy out i would like to speak to your and manager at our account Karen. during the two accounts that we're talking about there was a different account and they still had 119 dollars worth of equipment attached to oh, that great. one that was going to go into collection so efficient so, so the lady even goes and she says on our account it's notated that we use our own equipment because we had an advertiser on the podcast so we bought our own we had our own router and right, modem right, right. she goes this doesn't make sense it says you didn't return your equipment but it also says when the technician came out you used your own equipment and the technician took our equipment back like we had a guy come out and he and he, we were like hey oh, we wait. don't need this and it was still left on the bill so and he yes took it? And it, yeah and he took oh, it back to the company it never great. was entered back into the warehouse so he may or may not have taken it back that but may have been frustrating a shit. justification that someone used to try and get so it this off this is of why i have to make phone calls yeah i don't wily. have the patient we're wily you you are you are much more diplomatic and bullshitty than me i find that people do not want to help you when you call them assholes and scream at them you uh, can much more easily engage people to help you rectify the situation. Point being, ladies I, I, handling it. I have I three people calling me every other day to check in to make sure that it's being handled. And So I'm not better, but I'm self-aware now. Okay. Progress. It's progress. <laughs> it's progress. It's moving right. forward. Yeah. Now, and, and I didn't call anybody an asshole And the point time. being, I run shit here. It's valid. <laughs> Except when you need baseballs, and then she doesn't care. But I'm kind of running that because you need them, <laughs> but you can't have them. <laughs> I didn't like that tone at all. And you just need baseballs. Actually, I kind of feel sorry for you now the way you've said it today. It was kind of sad. I know a lot about withholding balls. I <laughs> withholding the... <laughs> he sent us an email yesterday with a completely straight face telling us what we're out of yeah, here right at, at the studio. At the shop, we need uh, power bars, water, and nut bags. What? <laughs> I just left nut it in bags? <laughs> I turned to him. I go, who would write nut bags? Why wouldn't he just Right, bags of nuts. Like, why would and you? I, and I was quicker. And, and yeah, as a yeah. dude, I went quicker. It's quicker, exactly. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it. I said it like that. We're not buying nut bags for the shop anymore. I will leave after the podcast to go buy nut bags. <laughs> Don't say that when you go buy them. Where are your nut bags? Yeah, where are the nut bags? <laughs> nut bags, an aisle. Oh well, yeah. Where's the nut bag aisle? <laughs> Scrotums? No, what? sir. What do you want? Why are you looking at me? And now from sea to shining <laughs> sea, continent, continent, and sometimes space, it's Bombshell Ray bringing you the Bombshell News. I got to say, weird news ever since coronavirus started. Used to, you could search weird news and there were like 10 sites I would go to. Not anymore. Quiet. They don't update them anymore because everything's so weird. Even the people mm -hmm. that wrote the weird news sites are exhausted. Yeah, we've got to a place where the most bizarre shit that happened daily is yeah. just it's shit that happens the daily. News. It's right. just shit that happens right. daily. Yeah. Like pe there's no <laughs> it's all National Enquirer <laughs> stuff yeah. now. Yeah, we, yeah, there's no upside. Um, anyway, so 
I found a couple science-based ones. Oh, uh, good. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton, um, you know, who did the three laws She's of still motion and advancing <laughs> calculus, he apparently had a far-out idea for how to treat the Black Death or the plague, and it was toad vomit lozenges. <laughs> Delicious. He why, gave, so, why so specific? Oh, no, toad he developed. Vomit. So he gave detailed instructions in a paper on how to make the toad vomit treatment according to two <laughs> unpublished pages handwritten by Newton. They're now being auctioned off. So you can actually bid on and own papers that Isaac Newton wrote. Uh, he describes in great detail in these papers how to suspend the toad by its legs in a chimney for three days until it vomits up, quote, making this up. earth with various insects in it. The vomit must be then caught on a dish of yellow wax, he added. After the toad dies, its body should be turned into powder mixed with the vomit and a serum and made into lozenges and worn about the affected area. This treatment would, quote, drive away the contagion and draw out the poison. This is some witchcraft. Wow, so Shit. Newton was like a one-hit wonder. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, 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 his like... follow-up album was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> was like, What's that? A clock is always yeah, right like, of place. He, <laughs> he was the dun-dun-dun. Yeah, he was dun, the achy-breaking heart of, of, yeah. uh, yeah. of science. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. that's that. So he was crazy as shit, really. Newton, by the way, and let's didn't be honest, know that the plague does not respond but, to toad vomit. But let's be honest. He also suggested he noticed, he noticed gravity. He noticed when he dropped shit, it fell. Yeah. Hey, well, he's like, suspending frogs <laughs> in the chimney. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why? It's so specific. Yeah. Yellow wax. Okay. He didn't know. He also suggested amulets might help with. The this black, is going to be a, like a big. So. Wow! I re, okay, we're going to bring wait. this back. Uh, uh, yeah, Fort Newton is going to be changed too. I think <laughs> I don't want uh, anybody who's that lame uh, uh, on follow-up science uh, on their sophomore attempt. He wrote this paper, and you can go and bid on it right wow. now. Wow. That was the original Kinda recipe cool. for hydroxychloroquine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Isaac Newton. <laughs> Isaac Newton's. Florida lizard breaks world poop record, dies constipated. <laughs> wow. Let's, let's tr try that on COVID. Wow. That's uh, a Dr. Adkins joke. A gr yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. A greasy, sandy diet left a northern curly-tailed lizard with a belly distended by a heavy ball of unpassable poop. The mass was so large, it took up 80% of his actual body weight, which was a record-breaking body-to-poop ratio, according to a Florida biologist. That's what they're doing in labs in Florida. You know what though? It makes a little more sense than the whole Newton vom toad vomit thing. I would like so I'd actually put those guys in charge. You know, they actually had came up with the percentage they had some ideas. body yeah. weight. Yeah, they at least they knew what they were doing. Do you know mm -hmm. what's interesting about this? Shout out to Papa Titus. This lizard actually hung out near a pizza parlor <laughs> in Cocoa Beach, Florida. So it was swallowing grease soaked sand. And so what caused this mass and it to become unpassable was the grease that he was ingesting. Congealed in his body. And it formed it, a lump that was too dense for him to excrete. So he just died. Painfully. Like uh, Elvis. Poop, poop, is, America, poop is life, man. Poop is life. I think there's a book. I, there's actually a book called Poop is Life. Like Elvis, man. 40 yeah. Elvis, pounds. Elvis, Elvis yeah. lived near a pizza parlor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ate a lot of sand. A, a lot of sand. Like, he was a beach, sand beach pounding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. All the speech like movies. Yeah. Ingested a lot of sand. <laughs> Valid point. Blue Hawaii. Oh he was down there with all the ladies. Oh my God. <laughs> He, his first manager ever oh, came to a nope, show nope, you can't talk and about brought really. us can't talk about this. discs of him in the beginning of performing. And last night he put on the first one and he talks like this. And I I'm, said, I'm, why? I'm 12 years old. Why? It's crazy. He's actually 20, 20? 22. 21, 22. Why didn't your voice drop until after your 20s? It's crazy. Oh, oh no, no, no. I was coming over here. I was listening to uh, John Mulaney's channel on TuneIn. Yeah. And I, one of my bits came on. The bit about um, uh, uh, about killing uh, some abortion, whatever I was doing, and my and my voice is way up here, and that was only like ten years ago. The bit's like ten years ago, and I'm still talking like this. Wait <laughs> until so he does a whole bit huh. where it's an uh, you guys. You won't believe it. I told him, I said, Ken has to cut this bit and put this up. It is the furthest departure from Christopher Titus Current. of any of the other material I saw. Some of it, you're like, okay, maybe, sort of. But this one is an audience sing-along. 
<laughs> during which he air Who? high fives frantically the audience while Who's he's running guy? back and forth. Then he stops and goes Elvis hips and he starts doing the <laughs> Elvis, <laughs> which then transitions into a moonwalk across and back across 22. the stage. <laughs> So, which culminates at the very end with a herky. Awesome. With a herky. A giant you know herky. the bit is over. He jumps straight up in the center of the stage in a herky and then lands, Ooh, and that herky. bit is over. A cheerleading jump. Oh, oh, oh. One leg bent, one straight so, out. Uh, it's what I thought was going to be when we watch these videos. My old manager, my first manager, brought me uh, a bunch of videos. Uh, there's my first acting job. We have a real... We, by the way, if I get killed in a car accident... You guys have enough this for a documentary. This, this is the <laughs> shit. No, no, this is like, you'd be like, right. oh my God, he started like that. I got commissioned to do, these two housewives showed up one day and they're like, hey, we want to do, people are sitting in traffic in the Bay Area, we want to do a, a cassette tape of songs and comedy about driving. So I got paid 2,500 bucks, which is like the most money I've ever been paid at the time. And I wrote two songs and I wrote all this driving material mm -hmm. and we recorded it. And... <laughs> I'm watching this. We watched the songs last night, and I, I, I do. At one point, I, I, I do the walk across Elvis across the stage. I, it's <laughs> and I, it's, he's in these giant pants, <laughs> parachute pants, with a giant sweater vest yep. that's folded it's fleece. under. It's a fleece vest. A shirt underneath where the sleeves are rolled up, and a skinny tie. Wow. Classic. Miami I could have been the keyboardist shoes. in any band <laughs> yeah. from 1981 <laughs> to 1986. And he's so frantic when he performs. He's like, and he's laughing and high fiving, and he's moving constantly. It is so not the gravitas of Christopher Titus of today is not. Do you see why when I changed into Rockwell though, why I hated myself, or why? club owners were freaked out and wouldn't book you. I see that they yeah. were like, yeah, they, had, they basically had a stuffed animal and then I showed up with Norman Rockwell going, my mom shot and killed a guy. <laughs> and they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you had a couple. There <laughs> we were like a few walker. little jokes here and there where I was like, oh, there he is. That's what he wants to talk about. Like when you talked about your dad's stepmother, I, you actually, I heard you do in that same set and my dad collected things for me, stepmothers, stepmothers yeah. until I was 10. Yeah. I thought women It was different mom and dad. Mom, and mom would take me, uh, uh uh, mom would take me camping and we go camping and dad also took me camping in Vegas but back then you said in Reno which I was Reno, like yeah. why would he choose Reno Vegas was a lot funnier but so you get to see some jokes that made it into Norman Rockwell but changed yep well I became a, so now tonight I'm gonna watch I've got my 21 Jump Street episode I've got which I'm gonna watch I, she kept everything I did That's awesome. uh, there's a there's a <laughs> At the end of every video, pathetically sad it says, comedy special. All rights reserved. All rights reserved. By <laughs> thank God I reserved the rights. <laughs> That's what I said last night. I go, thank God I reserved these rights. Oh my. No 1985, one's, no one's taking this. written, mu music composed by Christopher Titus, <laughs> written and performed by Christopher Titus, all rights reserved. Okay, we will, we will, me and the Highlander will cut together a, a five minute piece of pre uh, Norman Rockwell Titus. Oh no, we're not cutting anything about that one bit. We're putting In that its bit entirety. up where you yell out Elvis hips and then you I can laugh with and at and start doing I think what we need to do is we need to actually do a mini doc on it and just go uh, and just see what can happen because there's a lot of artists out there that are like afraid they, they know what they're doing is not what they're supposed to be doing Yeah. and I was I was but I was young, man. I mean, it was eighty. I mean, when it came up, it was a nine, uh, rights reserved, nineteen eighty-five. All rights reserved. <laughs> you need to put up that. Video. Only four hundred people had ever seen me do comedy. Who am I reserving? Those four people are not to getting put it. That video, and then cut it with um, twenty-two-year late-term abortion or arm the children. Or pedophile crucifixions. A pedophile, mm. like just put those up because wow. Up until then, I was like, oh yeah, okay. I kind of see like you're super yeah, frantic. He is so Robin Williams, it'll blow your mind how much his style not, became not his that, own. I know that, but watching the video and I realized, oh my god, I ripped off. And I hate comics that take other people's like uh, acts, personalities. And I was doing it. I'm like, oh, when I was 22, I you were tried. Even standing. Like I he tried. Did. I I moved like him. I was like, oh, and, right. and I'm doing shit. You I'm doing like it, to yeah. the point where I, even I went, ah. Oh, yeah, but That's you cringing. became who you are. You're not that anymore. Right. You have to, as an artist, as a musician, as an artist, as an actor. Um, you know, you try to be who yeah. your idols are mm -hmm. and then you realize uh, that's a bankrupt system and then you become mm -hmm. who you are well it can take time to find you, your yes. voice and yeah, your that's just not your own style 10 you, years you, yeah 
Everybody she, goes through that. It was awkward, weird to watch cringy her. phase. I got told this a long time ago. I got told when I was 22, uh, you, you don't know. And I said, "How do I get better?" They said, "You don't know what you're doing not yet. Mm-hmm. It's stage time. You don't know what you're doing yet. Stage, just keep going. Keep going." And I'm like, yeah. "No, no, no. Give me, no, give me the key." And, and then when we started working together, she's like, "Give me the key." But like, you, know, you, you don't know what you're time. doing yet. You're already funny. You know what you're doing, writing jokes. You get. It. And then right about eight and a half years in, you cross this line where I saw you take a room over like a headliner does. And I remember standing in the back that night. I, I wasn't, where was it? It was in one of our theater tours. And then after that, you, you got booked at Wendy's to headline and then at, at Comedy Works. And then about nine years, you just went, you dropped into this. It was just like when you hit the stage, they paid attention to you, but it takes almost 10 years. It, you know what? A lot of it, I think, in art, it becomes anger, bitterness. <laughs> And dissatisfaction, and you're finally mm-hmm. just like, screw all these yeah. people and all your tweets and all your Facebook messages and all your comments after the show. And eating nachos and while I'm doing comedy. And what my family is telling me I should and mm-hmm. shouldn't say, and what he says I should and shouldn't, and it becomes this thing. Do you know what I mean, I though? That was yeah. helpful. Like all your adv- you were, but all your advice that you got and what your dad thought about what you were doing right. and what Aaron thought and what the audience reacted to, and you just get to this point where you're like screw all right. you people this is what i have to do right. and say no and it's you don't feel the need like you have to you're not trying to please anyone else you're yeah, but to you have to, like, right. fuck it this is what uh, this I, is what this i feel is like what, saying this is my you, truth you yeah. please people for 10 years you're trying to get over yes yeah. you're just Survive. trying to succeed yeah. i call it growing a tumor on my soul i was at one one point i hated every joke i'd written yeah. mm-hmm. and i dumped the day I made the decision to, I was going to open a body shop. I'm going to do this for. I'm going to give myself two months doing it the way I want to do it. If it doesn't work, I'm going to go to a body shop. Mm-hmm. Prior to that, you're trying to survive, right? You're right. trying to get through that set. And you can see, and I'm like, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I'm like, right. my hair. It's the weirdest. It's the worst. Oh, but the Elvis hips, please. <laughs> I can't please, wait to see please, it. Please, please, <laughs> for everyone. It's. it's uh, I have not been on stage so since that's March 8th. It's gonna feel. Do you like know it. how long that is for yep. a comedian mm-hmm. to not perform for your timing? Like people, be very ready for your favorite comedians to have lost some timing. That being said, um, what happens? Uh, I got this. So I'm, I'm rewrite. I'm right. By the way, guys, I'm writing the next episode of Titus. I don't know if we're gonna just read it on live. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get Stacy Keach and the guys to do it. I don't know. But I've, I'm ten pages into the episode. I, I told Highlander what the whole story is. It's awesome. Yeah, uh, he was. You were. You were quite impressed. Yeah. He goes. He goes. Yeah. I felt like I just got a birthday present. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm writing that now. Uh, and we may be able to do it. But I'm also, I think, rewriting. I'm gonna rewrite uh, Carrion Monsters. Because what happens is this time off, because we don't have time off. You and I worked all the time. Yeah. So what happens is you start locking into jokes. Mm-hmm. Same with music, right? Mm-hmm. You lock yeah. into a certain way of yeah. doing it. Well, now you had this break. So when you go back to it, you're gonna, it's going to be brand new to you again, and you'll be able to play the with it. The weirdest thing for me is that I'm in between shows. Yeah, I filmed yeah. the show. Well, you had, you're lucky. Am I? Yeah, you got a new special that we're going to be releasing pretty soon, and then you got, and then you now you have a whole new show to write. So you're you. It was actually we filmed, guys. We filmed your special the on February. Was perfect on February second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a month later, we we're getting locked down. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so now you get not, you're just going to be not. You just get to work on new material. So you you so I'm so gonna, I'm going to suck as a performer but, but, and but, but not know you're no, 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 material, material. But you get an excuse though. Right. So you have the excuse material. of I have new material. I don't. Right. How can how do you, he did a show for a year? How come right. he doesn't know it anymore? What so happened I, to this, just, this yeah, show? Exactly. Yeah, this show used to be funny. Right. What happened? So you you're good. You can always say I work in material. I'll be like, I been been off stage for a while. I didn't do nothing. Oh, yeah. by Elvis the way, guess in. what? Um, we're announcing June twenty seventh. We, we have the next installment of Combustion Live Comedy. One of my tops, Fortune Feemster, is yep. going to be doing a show on June twenty seventh. Those tickets will be live on Eventbrite. We'll be posting the ticket link everywhere. Please go get tickets and support this new guys. Endeavor. Fortune. So here's the thing: we are doing. Uh, we went and got the equipment. We have three cameras. We're doing basically live comedy specials uh fortune not not someone standing in their kitchen screaming into their computer we have a we bought sets and lights and we've got cameras uh and, and she's not doing her just a no, regular show cool she's doing something she's doing. you can't see anywhere else right. it's the wheel of fortune's jokes right? right is that the name of it wheel yes. of fortune's jokes so they're gonna spin a wheel she has an opener she has um someone else they're gonna do a lesbian sing-along yep. at the end yep. which holy I'm shit so, so stoked. um and the i don't know if she's gonna spin the wheel or if someone else is but basically it lands on a joke or a topic and she has to then 
perform that or That's tell cool. something so, relevant cool. to that. And we're going to have uh, we'll have Zoom people on the monitor mm -hmm. on stage so they yeah. can actually call out if they want. So cool. It's going to be fun. So guys, live comedy, you can't get it right now. With COVID going on and everything spiking again, you're not going to really get it. But if you want to have safety and laugh your ass off, uh, go to ChristopherTitus.com and Combustion Live, and we will have uh, badass shows for you. Ten bucks. You can drink in your own house. You don't have to pay 19 bucks for a drink, and you can enjoy it. And, uh, on the 27th, get tickets to Fortune now. Yeah, I love I love. And help Fortune. us, by the way. We're all trying to make money during this, and for mm -hmm. ten bucks, my comedy club costs, what, 20, 25 bucks a ticket? Yep. Uh, two, you have to have two $9 drinks times four people, uh, parking. Yep. Uh, driving, getting ready. Yep. So we're 120 bucks just Plus to go out. you have Easy. to get out yeah. of your pajamas, which is a little... Right, you can watch yep. Fortune in your pajamas. I've been ruined. And she is so pro that, by the way. She wants everybody to watch her in her pajamas. Yes. Um, all right, guys, uh, go to ChristopherTice.com for any DVDs. We've been blowing stuff out, haven't we? Man, yeah. We're yeah. selling out. Yeah. we got the box set. We've got uh, singles out there. Go get it. Uh, bombshell stuff is coming up pretty soon. Do us a favor. Go to Christopher Titus TV and subscribe. We put out a documentary in the midst of all this race rioting and everything called The First Time. If you don't quite understand what's going on, um, our friends uh, had told us some stories, and we put them, our very good friends, and we put them on uh, camera to talk about what, what it means and you'll get it uh, uh also we're keep putting more stuff up and uh we're gonna be putting up a video of you doing elvis and we're gonna putting up titus when he was 22 videos moonwalking on stage he i it didn't make the transition was odd he did elvis hips yeah because there's music playing and okay. he's full-blown singing the song elvis then hips and yep, and then starts moonwalking, goes to the end of the stage, turns around, moonwalks back. Then stops and does James Brown. <laughs> hey, good God. Uh, uh, uh. And I just do it really Then oh high boy. air oh high boy. fives again. It was amazing. It was really You could see that I was getting by 100% on energy. energy. <laughs> yeah. My entire act was if I just <laughs> never pause. They can't heckle me. Right. Amazing how <laughs> you people can't bomb think, if you don't. Oh man, you just keep people! Yeah. You think he speaks quickly now? Holy crap! Yeah. Wow. Wow. I always said I made it because of fear and desperation, and you can see it. In Amazing. These, we'll, we'll give you guys something pretty soon. And I will still say you were two years in, and you were killing killing with that crappy camera and audio equipment and everything i said to him you're killing in this room so we're gonna put that up anyway yep uh so if you want to see that you want to see when i was horrible <laughs> Stay tuned. Christopher Titus TV. Guys, thanks for listening to the Titus Podcast. Uh, thanks for supporting us and the people that support us, the advertisers. Uh, for myself, Bombshell Ray, and the Highlander. Later. Peace out. There can be only one. There can be only one. You don't one. even say that like you think it now. Yeah. You don't really think there's going to be only one. I... Things. Well, he's, there, he's, there, he had there's none. hope. There's, it's, he had none for a really long time. Yes, that's. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> I like the sad look. <laughs> the, I, you know, it's like the compliments. Like I, I was just talking to Titus before we went on air just now. This is the first time I've felt like a legitimate, like nice feedback and and nice. So she's saying. So the girl, like, he's, so the girl he's texting is being nice to him and saying nice things to him, and he's like. I forgot that. I for <laughs> it, the, the difference is night and day. Don't worry, dude. I forgot I, that I, too. <laughs> no, we're not. Nobody else is making the noise because we're not ending on that. Because oh, I wrote shit, shit here. here. <laughs>